Habari zenu watu wazuri. Leo mimi nipo Kariako katika Dar es Salaam. Leo tutakwenda safari njema. Twendeni karibuni Tanzania. Tunaweza pamoja. Karibuni Tanzania. And today I'm walking around Kariako. Now of course you've seen in my previous videos that we were in Karaoke market and I checked out some of the stores I even engaged with some of the sellers there at the market well today I'm back in Karaoke again and of course Karaoke is not only has a market there are other buildings here there are apartments here people actually live in this area here in Karaoke so yeah I'm gonna walk around and see if we can get something to eat at a very reasonable price Karaoke is a place definitely you can get a lot of things at reasonable price as long as you know how to bargain and that's what I'm going to try to do today I'm going to try to eat some local style foods not the regular rice and things like that maybe today we'll get something called ugali and mboga and mboga mix and ugali is basically um, maize flour or some people say corn flour and it's cooked to a certain consistency where it's stiff and then you'll eat that with vegetables it may be spinach it may be kale different things like that so immediately when you come in you're greeted with some amazing fruits and vegetables which is really nice to see all type of vegetables here and fruits so you have tomatoes in Swahili is known as nyanya you have mangoes embe we also have bananas here which is called indizi so it's really nice that we're seeing a variety of things so literally as I took this left here there is a restaurant called Tower Food this is it right here it's called Tower Food Restaurant and Catering and what's nice about it is the, is the fact that um, you can actually see the prices of the meals before you order so which is very good so I'm gonna go in and get a meal today how about this? no? ah, nzuri sana na shukuru mwenyezi mungu kwa mbali ali unifikisha so, asante sana so this is in fried so let me see if I can get a table and then we'll see if we can get some food so guys we're finally in the restaurant and the first thing that was brought to me was juicy ya pasheni that's what they say in um, Swahili but the proper Swahili word for passion fruit is actually matunda ya karakara but anyway, this is passion fruit juice and the cost of it is 1,500 Tanzanian shillings. Asante sana, dad. So this is 1,500 Tanzanian shillings. Okay. And then we have the ugali. This is what ugali looks like. So this is stiff cassava maize cassava flour not cassava sorry maize flour maize flour cooked to a stiff consistency and you get it like this color it's white in other countries across the world you know um, the maize flour is yellow but in Africa you'll find that the maize flour is, is, is white okay now this is maharagwe this, are, this is beans very popular throughout East Africa not only in Tanzania but it is beans and this here is also spinach and this is a nice uh, tomato type sauce so this is what I get now the cost of, of all of this the ugali well the mboga mboga mix which is this one here and these it comes up to 2,000 shillings and the ugali ugali plain is 1000 tanzanian shillings so altogether 
everything came up to four thousand five hundred Tanzanian shillings four thousand five hundred now of course you can get this at a cheaper price elsewhere but just look at where I'm sitting it has really nice seats very good excellent service so I guess you know you're paying extra for the service you get as well so I'm gonna dig in have this meal and I'll let you know how it goes so when you're eating it you eat it with your hands and you kind of squish it together like this like what I'm doing here you do it like this okay nice consistency and then you'll perhaps just mix it with a bit of the vegetables like that mmm really nice and I'll have it with some sauce as well so I'm literally outside the town food restaurant where I just eat and it's located on P Pember Street like I just told you so if you're ever around in Karaoke definitely check it out and the prices for the foods are definitely available so you can see the price so you know how much you're paying so yeah, let's carry on and explore more of this place. Um, let's see, maybe we can buy some fruits or something like that. Get an idea of the price, I don't know. Let's go and see the vibes here. So it's a Friday. Friday is usually the day when a lot of people go to the mosque. People of the Muslim faith. So it, it does get a bit more quieter here on this street like in the afternoon times but it's still got a lot of people walking around still buying stuff okay so for someone who, who haven't been here before it could definitely be chaotic but definitely when you come here just be calm watch your step look out for the traffic you know you got motorcycles crossing in and out people with carts and stuff like that so keep a lookout for that but Everything will be all right, you know? Def definitely watch your bags here. When you come, make sure your bag zipped up and all of that. Just basic precautions that you will take anywhere else in the world. But it's definitely a good vibe here. It's a nice cultural experience, I would say. You really get to, to get a real cultural experience when you come to this market here now over the over a long period of time this was actually considered like the african se um, section of the town here in Dar es Salaam here in Karyoko and um, even till today you'll see a large amount of the indigenous people shop more in this side of town Okay, but you do got pe different people that have businesses here. You may, you'll even find people from the Asian community, Arab community have business here. So, in modern times, it's quite mixed, but you definitely get more of the indigenous people shopping in this side of town here in Karyako. All right. We've got mangoes. Can you hear the noise guys? You really get the experience like you're really here. So you lot definitely uh, got a visit here when you come. If you look up there, some of the uh, buildings. So apart from it being a market, you do get people that actually live here. And this is like an example of what the apartments look like in this area. Really bright color, this pink. Really bright color, very interesting color. It really stands out. Hey. 
These are all things for the kitchen, local stuff. Salam alaikum. Pots and pans, even have irons here. And of course, you know, if you know what you're doing, you know, in terms of bargaining, this side of town, if you're really up for it, you can get a reasonable price. But it does, it does help if you can speak the Swahili language. So maybe if you have a friend that could go with you, in this side of town, Karaoke, you could get things at a reduced cost. They could neg negotiate on your behalf. And you could also get the opportunity to practice some Swahili yourself. It's like ice lollies, guys. There's something called um, ukwaju, and ukwaju is tamron. In, in Swahili, they say ukwaju, and it's really nice. You can get a, a, a tamron ice lollipop, and it's really nice as well. It only costs like 500 Tanzanian shillings. So this is a really big market guys and uh, gotta take your time with it when you come here So right now I'm actually looking for let's see if maybe we can get some fruits or something like that Ah, Santi, uh, Matunda ni bagay ni? Elfu moja. Elfu moja? Okay, sa so, naumba, na, naumba wa moja. Nakula eh? Ya. Yeah. Nakula hapa. So it's cost 1,000 asante. So this is a fruit bowl guys and it literally costs 1,000 Tanzanian shillings I <laughs> promote the Ashara Yako So yeah, it costs 1,000 Tanzanian shillings so if you're ever in Karaoke definitely come and visit and it's, it's, a, it's a reasonable price so what we have here, we have watermelon and we've got papaya and it's also avocado here so that's really nice 1000 tanzanian shillings for this one and you can just eat it right here and i'll let you know how the the watermelon tastes like mm. Really nice guys. Very sweet. This is also fine. Wow. 
guys really rich really sweet really organic and that's an amazing thing when you mm, come for fruits here in Tanzania really organic and really rich in flavor so I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll accept more and more carry a call so guys I'm literally on the last bit of papaya here and I must tell you it was lovely really lovely fruits really sweet organic fresh the real deal and it's at a reasonable price mm. really nice guys if you ever in Karyoko on Pemba Street coming to the end of Pemba Street definitely stop by here and try some of the the fruits the sister's in and you can see what she's doing there cutting up everything people are actually coming here and buying so yeah Asante sana dada Asante nitakuja tena So that was the the fruits, really nice. So if you're ever around, carry a coal. That's some of the things you can get here. I'm gonna walk down this street. So, apart from, of course, fruits and vegetables, you can also get hardware and different building stuff for building for the house, refrigerators. All these are some of the things we're actually seeing on this street right now. That's why I said if you really have time, you know, when you visit Dar es Salaam, just give yourself a day where you'll just come and explore this place because there are a lot of hidden gems in this side of town where you can witness learn about and also if you're wanting to buy something in future depending on how long you'll be staying in tanzania at least you know where to come so that's really nice So these are the bajajis. Some of them are just parked here so you can approach them depending on where you want to go. Now in Tanzania they call them bajajis. But if you go to places like Kenya and maybe some other places they, they say tuk-tuk. So bajajis, tuk-tuk, same thing.
So I'm walking towards the Dala Dala bus stand. And these are the real local buses we're coming up to, guys. Real local. This is what the many Tanzanians use as their mode of transport to get to work on a daily basis, you know, the Dala Dalas. Now, for someone who haven't been before, it could be a bit confusing because you have to know which bus to get on, knowing where to get your... knowing where to get off, which stop you got to get off. But the longer you stay in Tanzania, one of the things you will find is everything becomes a bit easier the longer you stay. Because slowly you, st you start to learn more about the place. This guy is selling coffee and tea there. Literally, people just walk walk around with the hot kettles. They got charcoal under it, so it keeps the tea and the coffee hot. And yeah, people just call out to them. You could get coffee low as 100 Tanzanian shillings here. For a, a small cup. Yeah. So this is the real streets of Tanzania. People selling drinks, water, sodas. Water as well, people walk around with water. So, this is it, guys the real streets here in Kariako. And you have all kinds of people selling things here, you know. You know, one of the things you'll notice when you come to Tanzania as well is that, you know, in some countries, a lot of people might blow their car, their, their car horn very loud, the horn of their, their car. They won't beep very loudly. But in Tanzania, man, you're going to hear those horns every day. Beep, 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 beep. It doesn't stop. Especially when you come to a, a very crowded side of town like where I am right now. You hear that jingle bell, jingle bell? 
So in Tanzania, there's also a sizable Christian um, population as well. There are a lot of Christians here also. And yeah, people celebrate Christmas. It's a very communal spirit here. So even if people are not Christians, just to celebrate with their brother and sister, you know, everyone kind of just celebrates together, you know. So the Tanzanian government has been very uh, instrumental in creating a system to help ease congestion in Dar es Salaam, you know, to help ease congestion. And one of the things they had introduced was the rapid uh, bus system here. And that helps with the buses, okay? They, you know, there wouldn't be any uh, traffic jams or anything on that system. So if you're coming to Kariako, you could get one of those buses, okay? And it's very recognizable. It's a, very, a big blue red bus, like you're gonna be seeing very soon. And if you're coming to Karyoko, you can get up. That's the station over there. Msibazi Karyoko bus station B. Msibazi Karyoko bus station B. Okay, and that's the blue bus right there. You can see it coming. Now, if you notice, it has its own lanes, so there, it won't be affected by other traffic and this is what it looks like so if you're visiting Karyoko and you manage to get on one of these bus stops you can get off here at the Karyoko bus station B and explore the market so yeah I, I hope you guys find it very interesting what I'm showing you today a lot of people here at the market a lot of people are coming out busy day and yeah it's a good vibe you got different people visiting from all over the world that come here so it's generally safe you just have to of course exercise certain precautions and safety measures when you're visiting here you know don't flash too much cash don't have too much uh, jewelry on and different things like that but apart from that it's, it's generally a good vibe here at Carrier Co. Alright guys, I do trust you have enjoyed today's episode and thank you so much for always coming back and watch my videos. I appreciate your time and let me know what other content you like to see here in Tanzania. I appreciate you and if please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Thank you for watching. Asanteni, Waherini. Thank you for watching. Inspire for travel.